Well, this is, of course, one of my favorite feathered friends, not because it is particularly good-looking, but because it has the wonderful name. Craig, will you say it for us, please? Pipit. Pipit. Yes, a pipit. A grass felt, or, uh, sorry, an African or grass felt pipit. There it is, sitting on a termite mound. Around it to the crowned lapwings, going, quack, quack. And of course, one should always say Pippet a few times if one is trying to find and failing dismally to find large, iconic African game. And all one has found is what can be described as a little brown job. Of course, to the grass felt or African Pippet, the vagaries of my attempts to find animals out here are unimportant. Grassfeld Pippet thinks of itself as just as important as the elephants and the leopards. Now, as we stopped here, I said to Craig, well, look, there's a Pippet. He said, do you want to do a segment on it? As if asking me if I was quite mad, if I was quite in, a, in control of my senses this morning that I should suggest to him that we do a segment on the African Pippet. Well, I said to him, yeah, I quoted John Cleese, from Faulty Towers when I said to him, what were you, ex what else is there over here? Can you see herds of ma wildebeest streaming majestically across the plains? No. Can you see Mount Krakatoa erupting? Oh no. Can you see the hanging gardens of Babylon? And uh, he answered me in the negative that he could see not any of these three things. And so it is that we are doing the Grassfeld Pippet. <laughs>